What's up, Marvelous DJs? The show is truly DJ Mike Marvelous. This past weekend, I got a phone call from one of my good friends and also DJ who asked me, you know, I'm in Serato DJ Pro. There's a Thunderbolt, there's a lock symbol, and there's a question mark. What are these things? And I can't play the tracks. How do I get rid of them? What do I do? So mad shouts out to DJ D-Light for this week's Cheat Code. So the first symbol we'll talk about is the question mark symbol. This is when Serato DJ Pro simply can't find the track or the track that used to be in a certain location is no longer in that location or you need rename the file, the file name or the track name somehow in your hard drive. This is a lot of reasons why some DJs will mirror their hard drive to their Serato crates because if something moves in that in their hard drive, then they cha make that change in Serato DJ Pro. So you're getting the question mark because Serato DJ Pro has no idea what this file is. It remembers that it used to exist um, in one of your crates, but now it can't find it because either the name has changed, you deleted it, or the file or folder was simply moved on your hard drive. Just keep in mind, Serato points to a location. So your crates create these spaces that will point to the location where the songs are on your hard drive. So that's generally how it works. So if you move that, it gets confused, doesn't know where it is. You get the question mark. Here I'll show you a little bit more how to relocate those files. All right, so let's play around with this a little bit. So as you can see, I have some tracks pulled up here. You see some question marks. Let's see if I got some lightning bolts. Kind of force some of these to be, and then there's your locks, okay? So first we're going to talk about the question marks. So again, these are hidden, or excuse me, first these are missing tracks, right? It, it cannot find these tracks. Um, so we have to, one, you can try and search them, and I just had that up, so let me show you. If you go to File, and then right here you can just click this button, Relocate Lost Files, and it'll start cycling through to look for all of the lost files, right? So that way you'll be able to or it can automatically find those lost files. That's one way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it is actually checking the file name. Um, you could also add in file location, which so I could go and actually find the location of the file as well. Um, I probably would move it over so you can view the whole location, but there you go. That is one way or another way of finding those files. Um, lastly, just delete them. Um, if they don't, if, if it doesn't matter to you, delete it. Um, I'm pretty sure I have duplicates of all of these tracks. Um, I would go to these tracks, make sure they actually play, like outside of Serato, um, try and play them out um, using, well, I, I have a Mac, so iTunes. Um, and if they play, then we're good. Maybe I'll try and reload the tracks. Um, and that's one way of getting rid of these question marks here. But the easiest way is to go files and then you click relocate files and it'll start going through and relocating these files for you. I'm not gonna do it now because it'll hold up again. This is not something you wanna do at, at, at an event, right? Like you hit that and it's gonna take up some of your CPU. It's gonna cause your Serato to probably lag a little bit. Yeah, just wouldn't recommend it. But the next symbol we'll look into is the lightning bolt symbol. This symbol generally means that this file is corrupt. Something's wrong with the actual file. It knows where it's located. Serato DJ Pro can locate the track. However, for some reason or another, the file got corrupted. Um, this usually comes with wear and tear your hard drive. Sometimes files drop off, um, or it could be simply that it's the wrong file extension. Maybe you're trying to play it and the file extension is not accurate. Um, so maybe change the file extension. Maybe you, instead of using an MP3, you could use a WAV or maybe an AIFF, which works best with Serato DJ Pro. So when you're doing your recordings, you record it as, or save it as an AIFF file. Um, so one of these things could be the reason why you're having that thunderbolt or that lightning bolt issue is because your file's corrupt. Sometimes the only way to take care of it, get rid of it. So let's talk a little bit about the lightning bolt. That just means the file is corrupt. Now I purposefully um, added this file in and it is a corrupt file, probably nothing on it. Nothing's gonna happen here, but I have had some corrupt files load 
and pretty much frees up the screen. So you want to make sure you're getting rid of all your corrupt files. Um, they're, they're just not good. Um, corrupt files just not good at all. So you want to get rid of those. The next symbol you'll see is the lock symbol. Now this symbol just means that this is write protected. It is protected by some means, a password, or if you're streaming, sometimes you'll see the streaming symbol there as well. Um, you'll see that for Tidal, you'll see that for Apple Music. Um, those tracks are locked or locked to your actual account. So if you don't put in your password, if you don't unlock that account, then those tracks will be locked. Um, sometimes I know inside of Serato, they used to have something called white labels and white label tracks were locked as well unless you put in your your Serato DJ Pro password um, so you could see those lock features on those tracks as well generally they're not a problem because they'll let you play it but if it's a reason you can't play it it's because you haven't signed in to something um, and that's why that track is actually locked so you want to go find out why those tracks are locked unlock those tracks and they'll be better for you I think that lock is there to protect people from sharing files back and forth um, that those tracks were given to you or you have the rights to those tracks in your Serato DJ Pro. Um, so to pass those off to somebody like on a hard drive will then lock the tracks and they won't be able to play those tracks as well. Um, the locks. So again, most cases these locks are going to load and launch because whatever system I used, um, I have logged into with that account. I have access to these locked files. If you don't, it'll give you a message saying you are not logged into this file or you're not, you don't have access to this uh, right below here. So you want to make sure that you don't have any lock files or if you do have lock files, you're logged into the system. You'll see also they'll have, so these are movies. These are the white label items I was telling you about. See, download it from white label. And that used to be, Serato used to run right, white label. I haven't been on there in a while, so I wonder if it still exists. Somebody let me know in the comments if white label still exists inside of Serato. It was off of the Serato website. Blue locks. Still works. All right. And then you got your Apple Music, your title. You'll have those icons as well. All right. So here I have some files that I duplicated to put into this cheat code missing files. Uh, bank. I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to make them go missing. All I'm doing here really is they're in a folder that I put them in. I created another folder within that folder and I'm going to drop them into that new folder. So I threw about seven of them into the new folder and I don't know which seven so it may give me a missing file or did it go low? It may have relocated it. There we go. That's three or two three, four, five, six. I may have missed one. So maybe I did six. So there you go. I just forced some tracks to go missing. Um, I'm going to highlight these and I'm see if it'll relocate them. Now, as I just saw on the bottom, it says this may take some time um, because it's looking through my entire hard drive. Um, in trying to find the location of not only these files, but also other hidden or missing files I have inside of Serato. So again, that's one way of doing it, just simply throwing them out there, telling Serato, go look for your re or relocate your lost files, and it should start going to search. I think it actually did find a couple. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Nope. So it still views them as lost. That juice file, that's not, nothing's going to happen to that. It's corrupt. I, I know it's corrupt, um, and that's why I put it there. So I'm going to just delete this one out. See if it's fixed any of them. Not that one. And I'm just trying to load them up, and they won't load. So, so I'll let Serato do its work. As you can see, white label popped up saying, hey, you got some lock tracks here. So I would have to log into my white label account, but it even identified some of the lock tracks. So for your relocate lost files, those lock tracks, it'll pop up and tell you to sign into those necessary uh, sign-ins. So there you have it. We're gonna let that roll. That'll eventually find them.
eventually, but I'm just gonna delete them because I created it just for this cheat code. So that's it. So next time you see that lock feature, that lightning bolt or that question mark, you now know what's going on in your Serato DJ Pro. If you're at a gig and you're playing live, steer clear these tracks. Do not play these tracks. They could potentially freeze up your Serato DJ Pro. So you wanna make sure that you are taking care of these tracks beforehand. Um, sometimes you'll get away with one with a lightning bolt. It may play all the way through. It may have a piece of a, of a corruption. A part of the song is corrupted. Um, but again, I, I would tell you to stay away from these tracks if you're performing live because they could potentially mess up your whole set. All right? If this helped you, Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you don't miss a cheat code. And let me know in the comments, what else do you all have questions about? What other cheat codes would you like to hear if, if some things are done differently? I, I plan on doing some different things like interviews and stuff like that that's coming up soon. So thank you all for joining Cheat Code, and I'll see you next time. Yours truly, DJ Mike Marvelous, The Cheat Code.